They reckon they've got it all. Never-ending beaches, great fishing, a steaming volcanic island and locals with the sunniest of dispositions. Yet the good folk of Whakatane are downcast. Overcast even, after the Bay of Plenty town was stripped of its title of the country's number one sun trap. That honour now belongs to Blenheim, or of course Jim Hickey, our weatherman's been today. You see, the boffins from Niwa worried that Fokotane's sunshine tally from last year, 2,703 glorious hours, was so impressive it couldn't possibly be right. So we sent Michael Holland to cast some light on this most shady of issues. The rendezvous point came with directions as crystal clear as the sky. Down the long dirt track, past the dirty coloured nag, just behind the maze swaying gently in the breeze, and beside the ever tranquil lake. And there we found it, standing tall over the pong of the ponds. When the sun's shining, that little machine there is measuring sunshine. So it's going 100 miles an hour right now. And it would have been since about probably 7 this morning. Mm. Or oh, 7.30, it's still dark at 7. Well, yes, OK, yeah, yeah. But let's not quibble over mere minutes. This is an argument of far greater proportions. 2008, Whakatane topped the Sunshine Stakes. We had 200 hours more than Blenheim. Coming up in the next five or so minutes, we'll bring you the latest from the Met Service. But look, it's pretty easy. Take a look out the window. Niwa scientists decided that it was too good to be true. Red flags came up and they awarded Blenheim the title. Absolutely fabulous weather and it's been like that for the last couple of three days, in fact just about the last week. We've had a whole run of days like this, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty typical. And if we came tomorrow or the next day or the day after that? I'd expect it to be the same. So in the depths of a recession, this is all that matters? This could be the recession breaker for us. I mean, everybody loves sunshine. We want the title, and we want more people to come here. And that's the rub. Whakatane reckons its long-held title of the sunniest spot in the country is key to its tourism industry. I'm holding in my hand a can of genuine Whakatane sunshine. These are an absolute icon in our town. We've had them for as long as I can remember. A lot of the... Uh... Promotional work was based on the, you know, the sunshine capital of New Zealand, and then someone pulls the rug away from under us. So we want it back there very quickly. Oh, here we go. Yeah, no artificial it. flavors or colors. Preservative free, and what's that last one? A good source of holiday memories. Just surf the left. Um, if you're going to do a manoeuvre, I want you to finish it. Surf instructor Beaver Porter reckons the sun's as much the lifeblood of his business as the waves themselves. This is a big deal. It is a big deal. It's a big deal for Whakatane. Hopefully the uh, sun isn't bouncing off my head too much and making it too glary on the camera. Speaking of cameras, these pictures and blurb, courtesy of a beachside resident who delights in what he wakes up to morning after morning. Sunrise at the beautiful Ahopi Beach. One of the country's best beaches from the best town, Whakatane. It chats to camera, though, not quite so spectacular. But you see here in Whakatane, we've got the most sunshine hours. No, you're welcome. Here you go. Makes a huge difference, doesn't it? Yeah. How was yeah. it for you? Well, it's actually quite hard. My, I'm starting to squint. So how does this most contentious of issues, Whakatane versus Blenheim, resolve itself? <laughs> Well, right there, next to Whakatane's sunshine sensor, sits the judge and jury, an identical device installed by Niwa to ensure the town's monitor is giving accurate readings. Just wondered whether you might be looking through rose-tinted glasses at this whole issue. No, I don't think that we are. Um, I'm fairly confident that what we've been recording is correct. It's just about um, 7 o'clock now, and look, we're bathed in sunlight, so, you know... It's, it's where it is. Whakatane is the sunniest place in New Zealand. Are you sure it's 7 o'clock? <laughs> oh, seven, sorry, 7 is past 5. <laughs> Not 5 past 7. Just think of all the holiday makers in New Zealand who might go to the wrong place for their holiday. They might go to that town beginning with B. They might, and, and probably they'll only go once. I invite them to come up here and have a free surf lesson, anyone from Blenheim, and, 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 and you'll see the difference. Yeah. Just ask for Beaver. Thank you, Blenheim. Good try, but unfortunately not good enough. 
Will the sun come up here after the Top Town final this week? The sun will be just as strong and shining here in Fakatani on Monday next week. I'm sure. What are you trying to tell me? Watch and find out. <laughs> and just maybe be blinded by the brilliance. So what do you reckon, Blenheim? I presume you won't be taking that line down. Of course, as both towns await Niwa's final ruling in a few weeks and whether Fokatani's numbers were accurate. As for the top town final, Fokatani's Yellow Fins go up against Topor this Sunday night on TV2.